thumbnail. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, it's gonna be a mukbang, no. mukbang, mukbang, whatever the hell it's called. Milk bath. Milk bath. <laughs> and this is her daughter, Charlotte. And we're gonna be like answering some questions. We got IHOP. And we're gonna be eating. So yeah. Um, I asked on my Instagram for you guys to ask questions about motherhood and stuff. First question is, what would you say to people who want a baby as a teen? I would say definitely try not to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, honestly, I was... I was 20 when I got pregnant, so I caught a couch, kind of doesn't, but I'm still young. She's almost three. Yeah. So. I mean, you were in high school, but, you know, you could have gone to college and you could have done, done different things with your life. I could have done a you lot. Know? Yeah. I could have done so much more. I could have, not saying that I regret anything. <laughs> I'm just saying no, you should probably be financially stable. Mm hmm definitely so I think that that's the main thing is financially stable and just remember like if you're gonna get pregnant and you're not gonna be able to do all the things that maybe you think you don't want to do cuz I didn't want to go to college at first I just assumed that I was gonna go to college because everybody goes to college after high school um, but yeah, so now that I've had Willow for over a year, I wish I could go to school and further my education, but I can't right now. No time. Working pretty much all the time, so. No Willow. How do you keep up with making enough money and raising a kid? <laughs> well, that is the hardest part. <laughs> that really is the hardest part, actually. I think like $40 to my name. Yeah, yeah, okay. Until today. Go that way. Yeah. There you go. Um. Honestly, Bobby. you just hope and pray Bobby. that every paycheck Bobby. is gonna make that minimum that you need for that week. Um, yeah. Obviously, I want to spend time with Willow, but if I don't have the money, what am I gonna do? Just sit home and do nothing and not have a car and not be able to go anywhere? <laughs> that would be. I almost punched her. That would suck for Willow. <laughs> I wish that I could have planned better and had a kid when I was ready financially to have a child and with somebody that would help me take care of that child. Hold the fork. Hold if you guys didn't know, Mackenzie's also a single mom, so I feel like you guys can relate to her because I have a lot of single moms on my YouTube or just teenagers who think that having a baby is cool. It's not. Especially if your SO or you thought your SO was and he wasn't. <laughs> Alright. Best advice for the newborn stage? Uh, sleep. Yes. Sleep when they sleep. Oh, bye. Take a big bite. My best advice would be, yeah, sleep while your baby is sleeping because I was so exhausted. What are you doing? You're not having the candle. Oh my god, no. Stop it. That's it. We're done. We're done with the berries. Um, second, if you have a significant other, make sure that, um, you guys are equally participating and like doing things equally. So if you wake up in the middle of the night, then they should wake up in the morning when the baby wakes up. I just feel like that should be a team. It should be a team effort, yeah. Obviously, I'm a single mom, but I was with somebody when Willow was first born. Um, <coughs> and I do wish that I did. Willow, stop it, please. I do wish that I had him do more because it would have made my life a lot easier around that time because the newborn stage is very, very difficult. How many hours have you spent watching Little Baby Bum? The 
if you guys don't know what Little Baby Bum is, <laughs> it's on Netflix. All right, let me tell you, it's a lifesaver, but it makes you go crazy. Um, which sister is your favorite? Ah! <laughs> JC is my favorite. JC is your favorite? Yes. You don't count because you know. I can't say because like they're my sisters. <laughs> I, can. I can say my brother sucks, and he does. <laughs> That's because your brother's not in your life, so. <laughs> Are you and Mackenzie lesbians? Yes. For sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me and Mackenzie and Michaela, all lesbians. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> you go, sweetheart. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. If you could do it all again, would you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Except. You know what I wish, though? With someone. <clears throat> I wish I could do it with somebody different. Yep. Somebody who was going to actually be around. The same kid, but with somebody different. I, yeah, I wish I could have Willow with someone different. Or Willow at a f later point in my life. Like, if I could have the same baby, yes. Yes. I would do it again and do it differently, but obviously, that's not how life works. <laughs> Is Willow still seeing her dad? <laughs> No, Willow's never met her father. I know. Um, I have talked to him. Not talked to him in person. Um, I have talked to him over the phone. Just texted him. And, yeah, it's never gone anywhere. So. His loss. I'm not going to force someone to see their kid. You know what I mean? Charlotte's only seen her dad. Twice. Charlotte's dad is moved away, right? Mm-hmm. Moved He's away. In Wyoming. With a girlfriend who has three three kids. Let me shut my teeth. What is the biggest thing you missed out on as a young mom versus the biggest thing that you gained? So, I've definitely gained maturity mm -hmm. since becoming a mother. That's like the biggest thing. Missing out on would be just like regular life stuff, going to college. Sure. Obviously, you can do those things. At my point in life right now, I can't. Hopefully, in the future, I will be able to. You want one of those? <laughs> Drinking, partying, my 20s. I'm missing out on that so much. Sure. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm never gonna get this back. I can't go out and do drugs and smoke weed and oh, ruin my life. Oh no. It's so horrible. I know. It feels so bad for me. <laughs> How do you feel about the sex ed you received in school? Do you think it should have been different? The sex ed was fine. I knew all about sex. I was fucking stupid. I knew all about condoms. I knew all about protection. Either way, teens are going to do what they want to do. It doesn't matter how much sex ed you do. They're going to do what they want. Um... Then again, there's like middle schoolers having sex and that just creeps me out. Cause like, I literally had kissed a boy and that was it in middle school. Um, yeah, it just, it weirds me out that like, we yeah. got 13 year olds having sex, but I lost my mind. 15, so. Tea, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what do you think? Sex ed, was it fine for you? Yeah, it's fine. I was just you stupid. What you to know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just literally mm -hmm. stupid. I was drunk, not gonna lie, lasted 10 seconds, and blam. She was conceived. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years? With another child? Married? No. Or engaged? To somebody? <clears throat> 10 years? That's a long time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Engaged? I want to either You'll be, be pregnant or have another kid. You'll be 29. Yeah, like probably 29 years old. I should have my shit together by then. Um, <laughs> want to have a nice job or be able to be a stay-at-home mom. Uh -huh. um, I guess these are more goals than what I actually picture my life being, but this is what I want it to be. <laughs> what was the best part of your pregnancy? Um, everything. What are you doing? 
you want? I didn't get sick. I didn't throw up. I only got nauseous. I didn't throw up once. Demon just came out of Charlotte. <laughs> oh yeah, Lucifer! <laughs> <laughs> the best part of my pregnancy was definitely you know, just like having like a big belly. I liked having a belly and because I it took so long for me to have one and I didn't have it for a long time. What's your favorite part about being a mother? Um everything now. Pancake. She makes me laugh, she's really funny. Even though she gets on my nerves. Like yeah, there's hard times, but <clears throat> there's still those moments where I like land my bed and want to punch a wall or like just cry myself to sleep because I was up all day and up all night and worked all till midnight or whatever, but yeah. Teaching her and like having her like progress and have accomplishments and stuff and yeah. Yeah. She's got a big ass head, so she's really smart. <laughs> they really cooked this hash brown like hardcore. Has anyone ever thought Willow was your sister? <laughs> Nobody's ever like been like, oh, is that your sister? Like in public. Um, but I'm sure people have thought it. I mean, I look like I'm like 11. So my mom took um, credit for her once. <laughs> I was in a target sure bathroom. Her house too. And they're like, oh, what's the pregnancy and labor talk? And she's like, oh, yeah, no, it was a breeze. And I'm like, yeah, it was a breeze. It was right. a breeze because you didn't have to push her big ass head of your coochie hole. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs the video up and leave a comment down below if you want to. I love you guys. My friend, she loves you now. Bye. Uh, and we'll see you. Well, I'll see you tomorrow at McKenzie. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> She's checking the camera. I know.